Hi, I am MJ Ferdus. I am a software engineer in uh, SharePoint development. I am responsible to implement and uh, develop a, a software solution on SharePoint platform. Today I will show you about SharePoint list and uh, how to customize the list and so on. I will briefly explain uh, the, my today's lesson uh, steps. Those are uh, I will create a list first. Then I will show how to add a new column and uh, customize uh, this according to your choice. And uh, adding a new content type and uh, integrate this content type in your list and uh, I how to create a different view for a different role or uh, or for the same role and uh, let's see uh, what we can uh, learn from today's lesson okay this is our previously created site if you saw my previous lesson you should already see this uh, Mr. Bull Document Space Workspace uh, site, and here I already created a task list uh, type uh, list before. Now I am showing you what I am going to do in this lesson. Here you can see this item type. Uh, you can say the content type is. Uh, the default content type and this is created by me and this also existing content type which is integrated in this list and um, i will show you uh, how to do some uh, custom column and adding in this list and uh, creating some views uh, for your list okay let's see how to how to do the all the steps you can create your list from the site action menu and from here you can choose the type of the list for example I will create another task list with the uh, name task list 2 and you can add some description here lesson to task list for example then create this list okay now you have this list in your quick lunch menu and here you can see you have only one option to create a new item here I can create a task for example first task uh, for example in progress test task okay okay the task has been created now we will create a custom column for example here these uh, columns are the default for the task list maybe you want one more column in your task list how to do that you have to go to the settings list settings and uh, in the below you can see the option to create a column you can add a new column from the existing column site or you can create a custom column so let's add uh, one existing column for example our list is task and issue type then uh, for example we will add uh, one column is role I mean who will play this role there is option that it could be default view or not maybe we can keep it as a default view then you can see this 
in the item for example if I create a new item or create an existing item this there should be a role option for example if we update the previous one for example the role is the manager okay you can see here is the role and since I check in the default view that's why it is available in the default view and for example now I will create another column the which will be you can also click from here to create column and you can select uh, the column name for example we can add another column feedback it could be multi line of text and we can check off this because it is not necessary to have a default view and if you go to your item you will see that it is here well done for example the task is uh, assigned to this user task is completed for example this is for example and uh, for example the task has been uh, completed today okay you can see all the columns that has been introduced as a default view but feedback is not available here because it is uh, not in the default view okay so I show you the uh, how to create a normal column from the existing site or create a custom column using your uh, specification okay now I will create a new content type for uh, this list or um, for other list you can integrate this content type here like our uh, previous list task list one that I show you before so first I will create a new content type for creating a content type, you have to go to the site settings and uh, go to the site uh, content type and I was creating before the task content type 2 now I'll, I will create task content type 3 content type 3 it uh, you can specify as a list content type because if you want to inherit all the attribute of the list task content type then uh, you can specify another column here For example, we want a uh, custom column if we for example here you also add uh, comments multiple line of text uh, like previous okay. so it says the column name you entered already use or reserve so we have to we can press comments too okay then it should be available in the list now 